Hello everyone, my name is Sadra Red Phoenix, and you're watching Char Boys Top 5 Players Episode 10. As always, let's see the winner from last week, and it was Insane God with his crazy sniper shot on Damavan Peak. Cut 5 this week is from Nenny Margos. I would like to apologise if I pronounced your name wrong, but Nenny Margos is what I'm gonna go with. Nenny's playing Rush on Saint Crossing. Uh, when I first saw this clip, I thought, what the fuck is he doing? You're not gonna get many vehicles up there to blow up. But then this happened. Nenny has used the mine and the grenades to blow up part of the building to land on the opposition. Very, very resourceful. I'm pretty sure we're gonna see a lot of people trying this out now. Guy used everything in his arsenal, everything in his kit to basically just turn into a killing machine. He thinks, I'm going to do it again here, but he gets rudely interrupted. This guy tried to jump in his party, thinks he's a party pooper, he goes again. I guess a little unlucky there. Where the fuck did he come from? I've watched this video about five times and I've not got the faintest idea where the hell that guy came from. He's now patrolling the area because he knows the enemy about. That guy was warned about running in the corridors and that's why. There's other guys here trying to trespass, trying to come into Nenny Margos' building, not on his watch. He's just patrolling the area at the moment. Trek around here. So he's going to have a little pop with his Rex here. Using his arsenal. I'll try to bang the one. I think I'm going to need some more firepower here. Let's whip out the rocket. Let's see if we can take out some of this building again. Is it going to get lucky? Yeah, you think they would have learned um, from the first time the building landed on them, but no. He's now just patrolling the building, he's not got much of it left, he's, he's, his rebuilding costs are going to be an absolute joke, but this man has went on a complete rampage here in St. Crossing, well done. Clip 4 this week is from Pony Lion, um, or something along those lines, and he is in a, uh, he's in a chopper at the moment, he thinks I'm going to do a little render zook here, but he wants his chopper back. Very, very skillful, take my hat off to you. Alright, calm down. Calm down. For cut through this week, we have Nick underscore DK. Nick is returning on to the top five players, and this time he's decided to play some King of the Hill. These guys are trying to infiltrate Nick's Hill. Um, you can't hear just now because of my dulcet tones, but Nick is in communications with his squad. They're pointing at targets left, right, and center. You're not taking this hill when he's here. He's in his T90 here, he's literally just blasting them in the face. These guys are just, like, just standing there. I don't really see much. What's the point in you guys just being here? You're just here carrying fodder. Very skillful play from Nick as always. All the shots seem to hit the mark. Very few bullets go astray. Very resourceful. Well done. For Cup 2 this week, we were Rambo. When I mean Rambo, I don't mean Slice Stallone. And yes, we are on everyone's favourite destination, Operation Clusterfuck. We all know what Operation Clusterfuck and LMG and flanking usually ends up in. This clip is pretty much the same. Just before he goes, so he leaves some presence. He doesn't want to be interrupted while he's going to be dashing out some pain here. He then just basically fires from the hat. In his head right now, he is going. Breathing in at the moment, he's thinking. Just well left those claymores there. Two wee pesky guys trying to come through and stop his rampage. They took care of him. He's not done though. He wants to go back and dish up some more pain. So he then proceeds to whip out his yata ta 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 yata ta 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 And that guy's running for his life. He's realised this is Rambo. No fucking with Rambo. He has no time here. This guy's, I can't even, I've not even counted how many people he's just basically mowed down here. This guy's trying to hide in the corner as well. He's absolutely shitting himself. He then goes round here. He goes, right, let's go round here and flank them again. This moron has got the worst aim in the world. He has the clearest shot and misses him on several occasions. This guy's that scared he face plants into the wall. He thinks, what the fuck is going on here? Guys are spawning on him left, right and center and he eventually meets his downfall. Well played, Rambo. He's not done. He gets revived. That must be the worst nightmare they know Rambo is back on the loose. For cut one this week, we remain on Operation Clusterfuck. This time here we're Cherry the Faker. Cherry just fired in a little warning shot there to let the, the opposition know he's on his way. You guys better take notice. He does another one. He's feeling generous. They don't seem to be taking notice though, so he fires in a little mini warning shot. One last. He decides these guys aren't moving forward. I'm going to take matters into my own hands. 
Cherry commits a suicidal run round here and literally just blasts all these fools in the face. And then takes out these two, the support guy and the recon. Quick kit switch here, picks up an N249. Proceeds to blast the enemy in the face while planting the MCOM. And then these fools are literally just running into his bullets. Now, I'm not I've ever been in the army, I'm pretty sure they never told you just run blind into something. These guys here don't see him. That guy's just trying to defend the MCOM. What the fuck are you doing, son? You should be really trying to make sure the air is clear before you do that. The guy's on a 2,000 point streak so far. He's not done. I think that's the third kit switch. He eventually gets taken down. And he's back again. He's back again to unleash some hellish activity on the opposition here. And he moves forward again. The MCOM is his. His team have moved up. Fantastic play, son. PTFO. So that's the top 5 plays for this week, this has been episode 10, as always please leave your winner below, please submit your clips to Chad Boy. I've been Sergeant Phoenix, my channel will be in the description below, thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.